You know what I like about this street? There's some stops, but it's really quick at getting you downtown because you have your own lane. A lot of the time, that helps. Uh. takes that long, eh? That's pretty impressive. What time you done today? Off of work. Oh, it's uh... 900. Seven, oh, seven. Seven, yep. Seven, yeah. I hear these accordions are bugger to drive in the winter, though, sometimes, because you're turning in and you get stuck. on the icy road and in the winter they're not very fun to drive that's what some of the drivers told me because all the power is coming from the back so the front unit doesn't yeah i've been on the new natural gas buses they're quite smooth and nice they're the 8300s though, yeah, eh? They start in 8300 up. That's a brand new one. And then you have a few D4, uh, D40s in the 60s, eh? The other style accordions with the quieter diesels. Mm. These yeah. ones are pretty quiet, they're not noisy. Not like them GMC Jimmies, eh, we used to have. You go like 10 kilometers an hour, you take forever to get going. My wallet's in your bag, right? My wallet's in your bag? Yeah. Yeah. So what's your typical day after work? My typical day? Yeah. After work? Yeah. My typical day after work is the sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Well, transit's a big job, eh? It's not easy. Uh, it's not easy. We go early. Oh, it must be extra stressful during Stampede, or do you take your holidays that? Stampede, they must have all accordion buses running on this route. Yeah. Have you driven the LRT before? No. Just a bus guy, yeah. I don't like the uh, LRT. 
And like you gotta look through the camera, see what's going on. And the old trains, they don't have cameras, so if something goes on, you gotta uh, wait for someone to push the help lever. And on the old ones, it's way up top the door, there's a lever, you do that and then can get the driver's attention that way. On the newer models, it's a button. I had a train break down on me last year, started smoking and everything. The brakes were overheated though. And the old trains are very jerky, so what that causes the train to do is the heat goes inside the brakes. I say in the next couple of years, all of our old, old, uh, 41 year old trains will be gone. I'd say they got a couple more years left in them, eh? Like they run them every now and again. And the thing is, too, the rust on the doors, the rubbers coming off. How many single buses do they have on this route now? Just one, right? Oh, a single bus that's uh, for the max purple is the two buses. Alright, so, so they must take some of these off at the end of the day. Like, if it's nine at night, there's no uh, need to use the a lot of these long buses, right? Yep. That's a small one, it's a single bus in the front of the loader. Those are the Chevy buses, yeah. <laughs> On the weekends, I wonder if they run the accordions on this route. Probably not. Are they all single? Yeah. All right. I never see a single bus on three, though. And it's a busy route, but it's also a big route, eh? It's an hour. Uh, the weekend, Saturday, yeah. Sunday, there's still a single bus. On every max route. Yeah. And these get a break too, and if one breaks down, any maintenance they need to do on them, they can do that. All the buses you guys have only break down once in a while, right? It's not often. Yeah, depends on the weather. When it's hot, though, it makes yeah. it really challenging. Right. Yeah, like one day it was so hot, some of the drivers had to have their engine engine hoods open on the buses, eh, so they right. don't overheat as much. Yeah. But it was like 31 degrees, eh, no wonder. But I hear if you guys have a break when it's hot, like a five minute break, you shut the bus down. Right? Yeah. On this route, you must have quite a few buses running on at a time, eh? It's pretty, uh... Thank you.
Gonna be warm again next week, eh? All sunshine. The thing is, if you want to go to bonus, bonus intersects with this bus, which is nice. You see they finally finished that city hall renovation at the station there, put all new railing up. Yeah, I, I, I read the newspaper. Yeah. They took quite a while doing that though, it took forever. Yeah. But I mean when everyone was quarantined that really threw a wrench into everything. Like in April, your bus was probably lucky to get half full, right? In April, when ridership was completely down.
going to be running on 14 today. I think that's another MP there, was it? Yeah. What's that? Uh, MP or another single bus just passed by. That might be the other one. Once we get to Douglas Glen, we will wait for the 150 to take us to, uh, what is it, Anderson or something? The 150 meets up with Max Hill. I didn't know that till we took it. 
You know when you do routes along the way, you discover new things. Mackenzie Town also intersects with it, which is... So we don't want, we want Max kill Douglas Glenn. This is it right here. Yep, city hall. Yeah. Thanks for the ride, Bill. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, that was fast. About one. Well, have a good day. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy the weather, it's so pleasant out there. Bye-bye for now. Yeah,